April 20th, 2017. This is Chris Williamson. He was the Labour MP for Derby North, but lost his seat in 2015 by just 41 votes. 1,618 people in Derby had voted for the Green Party in a protest vote against Labour's mediocrity, but it ended with the Tory candidate, Amanda Soloway, winning. Chris is a vegan and a lifelong campaigner for animal rights. He strongly opposes fox hunting. In January of 2017, during a period of unemployment, I had volunteered at the Derby Rights and Representation Foundation, a charity set up by Chris to help people claiming benefits and welfare. Chris is one of Jeremy's strongest supporters. On July 26, 2016, he wrote for Tribune magazine, The coup against Jeremy Corbyn is a direct assault on democracy and has caused an existential crisis. It absolutely must be defeated. We are out canvassing in Derby. Though Chris expects to be the candidate again for Derby North, he doesn't yet know if he's been selected. I was to be part of Chris's team for the general election and help make video content for his social media campaign. Today I was there to get shots of Chris for his profile video. Chris has perfected his sales pitch of Jeremy's programme. He will sometimes stop and talk to someone for up to 15 minutes if he thinks he can persuade them. Knocking on doors makes me very nervous. I tend to do the clipboard instead. The idea of asking a complete stranger how they plan to vote and then trying to change their mind in a few seconds is not something I can do very well. May 1st, 2017. Hi, I'm Chris Williamson and I'm proud to tell you that I'll be Labour's general election candidate for Derby North on June the 8th. It's been a privilege to serve the people of Derby, the city of my birth, for almost 30 years. First as a local councillor, later as leader of the council, and then in 2010 as your member of parliament. Whether you're young or old, better off or just getting by, we can all agree that there's a lot that needs putting right in this country. So let's get this straight right away. Don't listen to the siren voices of the establishment media. They'll tell you that Labour's a threat to our national security. They'll say that Labour's unpatriotic and they'll keep banging that drum from now until June the 8th. I'm not sure we needed to evoke patriotism here. A misdiagnosis made by some on the left at this time was that Labour's poor polling numbers were due to Jeremy and the movement being insufficiently patriotic. There had been a resurgence in nationalism post-Brexit what I remember, we were trying to be pragmatic and appeal to people who are traditional Labour voters, but may have previously voted UKIP without mentioning immigration. Patriotism and nationalism are the natural territory of the right. Trying to make a left-wing case for them leads you into a minefield, because England's history is inextricably linked to imperialism, war, slavery, police brutality, institutional racism and white supremacy. All of these uncomfortable truths cannot be brushed aside and sit awkwardly alongside an attempted left-wing appropriation. Regardless of this, Chris is now the candidate and the fight can begin. 